We would go see. We would go see movies. We went to see movies. So where did? How did we go? We didn't go to cinemas really. Went to the drive-in. You remember the drive-in? The drive-in public place to see a movie that your whole family would go, and your parents would tell you, "We're going to the drive-in. Go put your pajamas on." <laughs> to go in public. <laughs> They would tell you to put your pajamas on in case you fell asleep in the car so you'd be comfortable when they left you in the car. <laughs> you woke up in the driveway at 2 o'clock in the morning, scared to death to get in or out of there. You didn't know what to do. You can't leave a kid in the car now. You can't leave a dog. You can't leave a head of lettuce in the car. <laughs> Someone will call somebody. <laughs> uh, my cousin's husband left his phone in the car. Speaking of leaving stuff in the car, and uh, she went through it because sometimes that's what people do. <laughs> and uh, she found he had been sending some pictures of his private area to girls that he works with. It's horrible, right? I know. I know, but can I just say this? I think, men, we set you up for failure. <laughs> because we've given you the technology while you still have your penis. <laughs> You're going to do something with it. That's just, I mean, I'm sure there's an Amish dude right now <clears throat> tracing it on a piece of parchment. <laughs> uh, he's got the candle behind him getting the proper glow. He's got a dip the quill in the inkwell. <laughs> then he's really got a committee, rolls it up like a scroll and trots it over to his girl's house. <laughs> he knocks on the door, hearest thou go with Rebecca? <laughs> and Rebecca unrolls it and her bonnet flies off and she can't churn butter correctly for a week. I told my husband, don't ever do that. No class or dignity that, I don't need a picture of your penis, I own it. <laughs> No one sends me a picture of my house when I'm out of town. <laughs> Somehow, miraculously, I end up in the same place. 